if you are looking for a dog that is easy to train, then a Maltese would be a better choice for you. But if you are looking for a dog that is easy to groom, then a Lesa Apso would be a better choice. But overall, which dog is best for your home and lifestyle? This thing you will decide in the end of this video. So let's start with personality and temperament difference. Unlike Lhasa Apso who love food rewards, Maltese will be just as happy with a kind world and lots of praise. Maltese are very lively dogs. They enjoy spending time with their family and they aim to be the center of attention at all times. Maltese will always be ready to show off tricks and will excel in all possible dog sports. They are obedient, loyal and trustworthy dog breed. Lhasa Apso on the other hand, they can be very stubborn. They like to be the leaders and they will not always do their best to get your praise. They often get lazy and refuse to follow the instruction of anyone. This is why you will need to be a little bit more patient training them. Lhasa Apso is not as a fragile and can easily run with children, play and get along without much worrying. Both breeds require a lot of social interaction to function around strangers and other unknown dogs properly. When it comes to barking, both of these dog breeds are known to have a reputation for being rather loud. Maltese might be even louder, but this is nothing to be worried about. Barking issues are a common thing with small sized dogs, and your own reactions might be playing a role in continuous barking. Your dog seems to be fond of. So let's discuss grooming difference between Lhasa Apso and Maltese. Lhasa Apso and Maltese both have a luxurious, beautiful coat. Their coats are silky and reach all the way to the ground. They do not have the undercoat typical to many other breeds, which makes them shed a lot less than most. Sadly, Maltese and Lhasa Apso coats mat easily, and they get dirty really fast. This means you are required to give them a proper bath. Maltese will need a bath often considering they are completely white and prone to unsightly tear stains on their face. Lhasa Apso comes in a variety of colors and does not need a bath as often as Maltese. It is advised you give your Maltese a bath once a week. While Lhasa Apso will do just good enough with one bath every 2-4 to four weeks. Before bathing, make sure you comb the coat of your Lhasa Apso and Maltese. This is done to remove all the tangles and make the bathing less of a painful experience. So let's discuss feeding difference between Lhasa Apso and Maltese. Lhasa Apso breed usually weighs between 11 to 18 pounds, while Maltese weighs up to 9 pounds. Both of these breeds need to have at least 2 meals per day as adults, while as puppies they need to be fed up to 4 times a day. Maltese and Lhasa Apso are picky eaters. They tend to pick only the best food and will refuse to eat anything else unless you teach them. Just like people, this does not have to be true for every Lhasa Apso or Maltese out there. Maybe your dog will be the one who will be happy to eat anything you decide to share with him. Make sure the food your pet takes is filled with proteins such as fish, chicken or lamb. These are important for Lhasa Apso and Maltese just as they are essential to most dogs out there. There is a higher possibility to see food allergies appear on Maltese than it is on Lhasa Apso. If you do notice any of these allergies, you will need to switch to a completely different type of food. Lhasa Apso and Maltese are one of the breeds who require a lot of dental attention. It is advised you always have some dental chews on you because these chews might be a significant benefit for your Maltese or Lhasa Apso overall health. So let's discuss health problem in Lhasa Apso and Maltese. While both of these breeds have a life expectancy around 15 years, there are cases of Lhasa Apso and Maltese being 20 years old and still very healthy. The lifespan of these two breeds is determined by our health, lifestyle and genetics. Neither of these two dogs require hours of exercise every day. They are relatively active dogs who enjoy several walks a day, some indoor playtime and they will be in good mental and physical shape. So let's discuss adoption of Maltese and Lhasa Apso dog breed. It is always nice if you choose to get a dog from shelter or rescue, but if you are looking for something specific, you should find a good breeder. This might not be an easy task, but with all of the information available to you, it is sure you will find someone you can trust too. Finding a good breeder is probably the best way to find the right puppy for you. 
a breeder will match you with the puppy and will do all the health certification needed to show possible health problems as close as possible. Always pick a breeder who is ready and willing to help you train and show you how to take care of your new dog. A good breeder will also be willing to give you the answer to the question you might have. When visiting and talking to a breeder, make sure you ask about the dog parents, family disease, possible allergies and other things that might occur as he grows up next to you.